Hello, this is Wendy. Welcome. I am so excited to share this Elfie Shaker card with you today. This is the second video in my Shaker card series. We're going to use this adorable Elfie stamp set, and it is was designed and inspired by Karen Duke, who's a million dollar achiever. I'm going to use the Snow Globe, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, Snow Globe cutout here. So I'm using the Still Scenes. Um, dies or the snow globe dies, but not the stamp set. I don't think, yeah, I don't think I use the stamp set. So I'm cutting that out and setting it aside. And then I've got, um, my piece of whisper white thick cardstock here, and I am using Memento Tuxedo Black Ink, and I'm going to stamp out all of the elves. I need all the elves stamped out because I'm going to use all of them in this card. Um, when I saw this shake or when I saw this stamp set my very first thought was I have to make a card using all of these as if they're a bunch of little mischievous elves at the North Pole. So that's kind of how this card got inspired and I had that idea in my head from the get-go and then it just took time to actually make it come to fruition. So here I'm just going in with my dark poppy parade marker and I'm put, I'm adding the dark in all the areas that I would have as shaded. So anywhere that something is touching something else and it basically I always think of my light source as coming from the top right hand corner and I honestly kind of learned that from Ke Kelly Latavola. She's somebody that I follow and watch on a regular basis. She's also the person that I totally was like... <laughs> why can't I tell stories? I'm a great storyteller. Um, I always wanted to tell stories in my videos and I always felt like, not necessarily stories, but like talk about my life and things that were going on. And I always wanted to vlog, but I never had enough time to do a vlog and do card videos. So she is one of the people that inspired me to just mix them together. And so that's basically what I've done. Some people like it. Some people hate it. Some people want to come to your a YouTube channel and simply only hear or know about the card and they don't want to know anything else that's going on and they don't want to they don't want to know about you basically and that's okay I honestly sometimes I'm that person oh there's my hat getting in the video sorry um, honestly, sometimes I'm that person. If I'm just really itching to figure out how to do a certain fold or how to do something specific, I don't necessarily always want to listen to a bunch of goobly gark on somebody's video. Um, I just want them to get right to the point. On a lot of my videos, I do things like this where I'm coloring. And so to just tell you every little detail of every little coloring thing I'm doing would be really monotonous and boring. So after I went over with the dark poppy parade, I went in with the light poppy parade. And then you can see that I used pool party dark and light as well. And now I am using smoky slate light. I use smoky slate light to create my shadows in my white spaces. Because here's the thing, when something is white, it still needs to have a shadow and that will make it look more white. If you just leave it white on a project that you're coloring, it looks uncolored. I also want to apologize for the lighting. Um, as you know, if you follow me regularly, you know that life has been a little bit hectic lately with family. Um, my grandpa is very ill. He's in his last days. And I mean, he's not ill. He uh, He's 96. So, I mean, we all hit an expiration date at some point. So he's just at his expiration date. That's just all there is to it. And so he's really not ill. It's just he's old and it's time. And I'm doing so much better with it. I'm handling it way better than I was. I had some pretty um, difficult dark days and um, I'm doing much better. So, you know, God is my refuge and my strength, and I really had to get back in tune with those things, with the spiritual things, and when I did that, everything felt better. It's just so much, so amazing how God can just care for us in our deep, dark times. So, I just have really casted my care. I was I was worrying about things I could not control. There's lots of family elements involved and there's lots of different crazy things going on and I'm not even going to get into it all because it's private 
for my family. But the bottom line is there's a lot of elements. There's a lot of craziness. And um, so because of that, and so you can see I totally filmed this part of the video at a different time because the lighting is totally different. <laughs> so um, anyway, I was worrying about stuff I can't control. And my husband and I just had a long chat, you know, and he said, like, you've got to stop. You can't control any of the things you're worrying about. And, you know, you need to cast your care. So that's what I did. I casted my care. And that's a scripture, cast your care on the Lord. So I'm casting my care and I'm going to let God handle it. And I'm just going to stop because it's going to make me crazy. So I encourage you to do the same if you have struggles. Um, I'm sorry I'm a little off camera here. It was hard to line this little elf up. But basically, I wanted this little elf to be sticking up inside the snow globe. Uh, kind of a mistake, um, because, and so, you know, this is the opportunity where you just get to learn from my mistakes. So really quick, what I'm doing here is I'm lining up the inside of the dome with where I want this piece of paper to go. So I'm holding it down in place and then I'm going to pull it up on the edges and glue it down. And then I'm like, Ooh, was that right? Let me double check. Um, and if I do this correctly, then that will show through to the back of my shaker. So that's why I'm doing it like this. I'm trying to scoot that thing around so that I can get it just in the right spot that when I glue this down, you will see it through, through, the, through the window. So just bear with me while I keep fiddling with this <clears throat> to get it into the right place. I finally discover I need to turn it over and like kind of hook it into the window and then lay it down. And that is what ended up working perfectly. So um, anyway, the mistake is that I, this little elf isn't glued to the window sheet. So then sequins ended up getting in between him and the window sheet, which I was not pleased with at all. I did not like it but there was nothing I could do about it. I tried to fix it and then my shaker started to fall apart and it was a big mess. So I just left it alone. I made a couple mistakes on this card actually, but we'll get to the other one here in a little bit. Okay. So anyway, um, apparently the story is that PG and E is planning another power outage. Fantastic. So the news is, and I just realized my microphone is like way away from me. So hopefully I didn't just screw up the audio. Okay, so um, PG&E is planning another power outage for October 23rd and 24th. So this is why I feel so much better about the fact that I changed my Facebook lives for right now to just being like whenever I could go live because it would screw up a Facebook Live situation. So I'm just, I'm so fed up with the electricity situation. Like, how are we supposed, I work from home. And I know that this is first world problems. And I do know that. And I am so thankful and grateful for everything we have. But I work at home. The only way I can make videos for you guys, post on Facebook, do my blog, all of the things that I do is with, stinking electricity because when we don't have electricity we don't have phone service now I don't know what the deal is with that I don't have any wi-fi I don't have anything so I mean I have to drive somewhere to get connected and it's a problem it's a real problem so I, I just don't know and then the kids end up being out of school and so we'll see what happens so that's on the docket for this week is being out of power again which is super awesome um and my kid went back to school today thank you Jesus because as you can see this video did not get released at midnight when my videos usually get released I'm recording it on Monday morning because I just did not have time to do it any other time and I spent yesterday Sunday afternoons um, and into the early evening as my time with my grandpa where I sit with him and just make sure he doesn't have any needs um, and stuff. And now that he's on hospice, um, it's part of the hospice contract that he can't be left, which, okay, here's my other mistake. I should have used foam adhesive strips around the edges here to pop this up because it is taller than dimensionals. So it ended up creating my stupid thing to be weird. It made me so mad. 
But anyway, there was no fixing it. It is what it is. Nobody's going to care. So um, anyway, back to what I was saying. Um, yeah, so I'm recording this video Monday morning. My kid's back at school. Thank you, Lord. And hopefully we're going to have some sort of normalcy here coming up. So the three days prior to fall break, fall break was last week for my kid. The three days prior to fall break, or I should say the, the three weekdays prior, they were out of school unexpectedly because of the big power outage here in California. So now they're talking about doing a power outage again. And I'm like, what the heck? Like, we need to figure out how our kids can still go to school during power outages because these kids just continuing to be out of school every time the power's out. I mean, it's absurd. Like, it's crazy. And so I don't know. Okay, so I cut out silver glimmer paper to put on the bottom of this um, snow globe and there's whisper white underneath it. So I kept everything very subdued in color. Um, I used the Santa's Workshop Designer Series, or what is it? Let It Snow, sorry. Let It Snow Designer Series paper um, for the dome cutout area and the, the base, basically, the layer there. And then Whisper White for the base of my dome, uh, snow globe, and then this glimmer paper on top of that. And I wanted everything to be pretty subdued because I want the focus to be on the elves. So you can see there my little elf in the window. He has now shaker bits in his face, which really annoyed me. Um, and then here's where I try to fix it. I'm like, I'm going to pull this up and I'm going to add thicker adhesive. And then I just realized like, no, don't do that. It's going to be a, it's going to be bad. Don't do it. So, um, I left it and whoever gets this card will just notice that there's a slight slant to the bottom of the card. <laughs> And I doubt they're going to care one iota. So then this little elf is going to go on the side of the shaker window. Like he's kicking the ornament um, up in the air. We've got the little guy down at the bottom. And then we're going to add our little Santa's workshop elf on the other side. Now, if I had this card to do all over again, which I don't because I'm not going to make it again, I would move the shaker down. I put it too high. So I would have moved it down because originally my thought was I would put a sentiment at the bottom of this card, but then I felt like it would just be too much because I've got the no peeking, I've got the Santa's workshop sentiment. So I felt like if I add anything else, I just had a brilliant idea. I'm going to cut the bottom of this card off so that there's not so much. I'm just going to cut that off. <gasps> Girls and boys, I just came up with a brilliant idea right here live with you while I'm explaining the card. Okay, this is Truby. And I, so I finished the card and then I put on dog TV for Truby and I was dying. She sits in my office with me most of the time. She's either in my lap, behind me on my chair, on the floor on something, or gets up and looks at stuff on the computer. She loves to watch other dogs. So I thought I would add this because I thought this is a really fun way to end this video. And this video actually went on for three minutes, but you're welcome. I kept it very short. I only gave you a snippet of her watching the dogs, but it's just so stinking cute. I couldn't help it. I'm like, I have to share this with these people. They will love it. So that's my little Truvy McSchnoovy watching her dog friends on the TV. Um, all right. So if you want to purchase any of these products from me, except for my dog, you can shop with me at Shop Love and Stampin'. Click either video to watch those. Click the circle with my face in it to subscribe. And I hope you have an amazing day. I will be back um, Wednesday with another card video. Bye.